Hello scholars, Miss Jeans here to help you with your first grade skills lessons. Today we're on skills four, lesson eight. Our objectives today are to decode single syllable root words and affixes, read and write some tricky words, read and write some new tricky words, and to read a story with purpose and understanding and answer questions. Yesterday, we started talking about syllables. How many vowels does each syllable have? That's right, each syllable has one vowel. We also talked about compound words and how a compound word is made up of two separate one syllable words put together to make one new word. Just like our first example here, cat, fish, catfish. Cat is its own word, fish is its own word, and catfish is a brand new word when you put those two together. A good way to read two syllable compound words is to treat it like it's two one syllable words. This is called chunking. We're taking a chunk and then reading it and then reading the second chunk, then putting the two together. Sound out and blend the first one syllable word and then sound out and blend the second syllable and put them together just like this k at cat ish fish then go back to the beginning catfish isn't that much easier than trying to sound out the whole word so if you notice that something is a compound word you can just chunk it and read one chunk at a time, then put it together. Let's look at some other words that have chunks in them. Bathtub. B -a. Bath. T -ub -tub. Bathtub. Egg. Egg. Sh -a shell. Egg shell. P -a -p pop. K Corn. Corn. Popcorn. Now we're going to practice some words that are not compound words. So they don't have two different words put together. Let's clap out the syllables. Remember, one vowel sound equals how many syllables? That's right, one syllable. Ready? Jump. Jumping. That has two syllables. Next word. Skip. Skipping. Skipping has two syllables. One more. Mix. Mix. Mixing. Mixing has two syllables. Mix is one, and then mixing is two. The vowel sound in the second part is i, i, but it doesn't make a new word. Ing isn't a word. Here we have the word mixing and jumping. When we sound out the word mixing, 
we see that it has the word mix in it. Mix is a root word. And ing is the ending. If you look at the word jumping, jump is the root word and the ending is ing. Sometimes two syllable words will have a root word like mix or jump and then an ending like ing. And we'll learn some more about more endings they can have as well. But there's always going to be a vowel sound in that syllable. Let's look at some more examples and we'll clap them out to see how many syllables they have. Ready? Number one. Sandbox. Two syllables. Number two. Bending. Two syllables. Now sandbox is a compound word. It has two words, but bending is not. Let's look at number three. Bumping. Bumping has two syllables, but it's not a compound word. Number four. Sunset. Two syllables and it is a compound word. Sun is a word and set is a word. Let's look at four more. Fishing. Two syllables and it is not a compound word. Number six. Inside. Two syllables and it is a compound word. In is a word, side is a word. Helping. Helping has two syllables, but it's not a compound word. It just has ing at the end. And the last one, footprint. Two syllables and it is a compound word, but and print are both words. Great job. The next thing that we're going to do is take out page 8.1 from your workbook. And I'm going to read you some tricky words that you're going to practice writing on your own. This is what the page looks like. It's numbered 1 through 10. I'm going to read 10 words and I want you to write them the best you can on this left side here. Then on the right side, you can check your work and rewrite it the correct way if you got it wrong. Are you ready? Let's get started. Number one. Write the word were. Number one, were. Number two, write the word are. Two, are. Number three, write the word should. Three, should. Number four, write the word could. Four, could. Number five, write the word your. Five, your. Number six, write the word to, as in, I like to swim. Number seven, write the word there, as in, this is their house. Number eight, 
Number eight, write the word because. Eight because. Number nine, write the word word. Nine word. Number 10, write the word have. 10, have. Now, if you miss any of the words, you can go back a little bit in the video and listen to them again. If you're ready to see the list, I'm gonna show you the answers now. Remember, just write the correct answers on the other side if you got it wrong. Here are the 10 words. Pause the video here so that you can copy them down. Here are three new tricky words. Our first new tricky word is today. Say the word today. Our next new tricky word is yesterday. Say the word yesterday. And our third new tricky word is tomorrow. Say the word tomorrow. Now these words are all super tricky. They all have some really tricky parts in them. So make sure you look at the words when you say them. That helps you practice. So look at the word and say it and even practice writing them. First word today, yesterday, tomorrow. The last thing we've got for today is a new story in the Green Fern Zoo book. Our story today is called Chimps. What page is the story Chimps on? Chapter three, Chimps is on page 10. Make sure you use the table of contents to find your page number. Let's look at some words that we're going to run across today before we read the story. A word that has the er sound. Repeat after me, her. The r sound. Repeat after me, hard, Bart, Carl. The or sound. Repeat after me, for. Born, norm. Tricky words repeat after me. Here, from, to. And some contractions. Let, weren't. We've got some vocabulary words too. The first word is chimp. Chimps are apes. The second word, munch. Munch needs means to snack. The third, anthill. An anthill is just a little mound of dirt where ants live. Babe. A babe is just a baby. Fig. Fig is a type of fruit that grows on trees. And one saying we'll come across today is look hard. Look hard means to look carefully. And that last one, that's an old one. We're not using that today.
Let's read today's chapter to learn what chimps like to eat. So think about while we're reading, what do chimps like to eat? Chimp. Next, let's see the chimps. We have 10 chimps here at the Green Fern Zoo. You can see them all out there if you look hard. Food chimps like. The one you see here is Bess. She has a snack in her mouth. Bess and the rest of the chimps like to munch on plants, nuts, and seeds. And the picture's caption says chimps like to munch on plants, nuts, and seeds. More foods chimps like. Do you see that chimp with the stick? That's Bart. Bart likes to have ants for lunch. He gets to get the ants. He takes a stick and sticks it in an ant hill. Then he lifts it up and licks off the ant. Yum, yum. And the picture's caption says, Chimps like to munch on ants. Max the babe. The chimp with the rope in his hand is Max. He's just a babe. He was born in March. Bess is his mom. Max is a lot of fun. He likes to swing on the rope and splash in the pool. Chimps like to have fun. Fun is what the caption for this picture says, and it looks like he's having some fun. Carl and Norm. Pals or not pals? Carl and Norm are the monkey's names. These two chimps on the rocks are Carl and Norm. Carl is the one on the left. Carl and Norm are pals, but they were not pals last week. Last week, we gave them a branch from a fig tree for lunch. Norm took the branch and ran off with it. He ate all of the figs. Carl was mad at Norm all week. But that was last week. This week, the two of them are pals. And the picture's caption says Carl and Norm, because that's who's in the picture. Now let's look at some questions before we move on. What is the main topic of today's story? What was the story about? The story was about chimps. And what types of things did we learn that chimps eat? We learned they eat plants, nuts, seeds, ants, and figs. Did you remember all of those? That's a lot of different things. Bart the chimp is a very clever and uses a stick to find and eat ants. Why do you think Bart uses a stick to get his food? What do you think would happen if he stuck his hand down the ant hill? Hmm. What do you think for that one? Good answers. What types of things does Max like to do? We saw Max like to swing on the rope and he liked to splash in a pool. Which two chimps were friends or are friends in the story? That would be Carl and Norm. And why did Carl and Norm get in a fight? Norm ate all of their figs, that's right. At the beginning of the chapter, Vern says, if you look hard, you might be able to see the 10 chimps that live at the Green Fern Zoo. Why do you think those chimps might be hard to see? I'm going to leave you to think about that question on your own. 
And that's all we've got for today. Great work, and I'll see you tomorrow.